more example. In the park, listening to stuff. And we distribute the podcast and then. Basically, it's quite difficult to remain an independent and fair media outlet and be sustainable and or viable for a long period of time. Um, is it non profit newsroom on uh, tax exception or something like a brotherhood or sister or whatever? To get In Argentina, uh, most new media uh, outlets are still being thought out as traditional media outlets in terms of revenue stream. That is, most of them depend on advertising. We need business models that uh, allow us to make journalism a really good journalism with the people, for the people. Uh, because now I think that in Mexico journalists are very used to think only in politicians or talk to politicians and not to the citizens. So fact-checking is a very labor-intensive process. So it requires people who can go through information in a very meticulous way. And so that requires a lot of deep pockets to fund that uh, operation. So with 34 people in four countries, it sounds like a lot but actually it isn't. Um, so scaling is, is an issue for us. If you think about our media company in Southeast Asia, there is actually a lot of uh, enthusiasm. There's a lot of organizational capacity. There's a lot of desire. There's actually demand for a free press. And there are new models arising all the time. So many of the problems that the media faces in the West are actually not really big problems in Southeast Asia. If there was a free press, it would actually be quite viable. We call them innovation as a service. Hello, I'm a startup doing a social media for platform to connect doctors and patients. It feels good to know that there's other people out there that are kind of having the same issues and questions. And I think it's very helpful also to have the exposures like, like, like today that we have corrected because we learn so many new creative things about um, revenue streams. Like a, a theater play would be a way of uh, using journalism. There are huge challenges facing us all. So in some ways, it's good to know that we're not alone. Um, but we're all so different, right? Media is so heavily contextual to different times and places. And so the same challenges that we face around the world require very, very different solutions. You know, with 16 people in the room, 16 media organizations from all over the world, we couldn't even agree on some very basic things, like what is the purpose of a website? What is happening here is that I'm having insights of doing things that we didn't do. Like, for example, the idea of a membership program. But now listening to the possibilities here, we think that we can construct a kind of membership program there also. So we need peers. We need others doing the same to learn about uh, from them. From, from learn and to share successful and failures and tools and ideas and all that. I need to try things, you know, that's the spirit of digital business. You know, trying, having ideas, uh, failing, uh, doing it again or doing differently. So I think that's the spirit of, of being a, a startup 100% digital native, you know. I think one of the big challenges is having the public, the citizens, ordinary citizens to be involved, to understand that, I mean, uh, high quality journalism that they demand from the journalists, independent journalism that they demand from the journalists, and credible reporting that they demand from journalists has a cost. What is big for the elephant is, uh, is how we grow. 
because we basically started as an experiment. So being able to to grow beyond our initial initial thinking, uh, we have we have plans to expand. Say, have uh, a radio program, have a, tev uh, a TV program. All that needs to be thought through. We are looking at um, having an educational arm to the elephant. All that all that uh, strategic thinking needs to to be actualized. You need the skills of the journalists, but that is something that that is a culture that still needs to be instigated. It's, it has, it is, it is relatively new, and it needs a lot of work. I'm confident that in the next uh, years, we will be, or we will have the for, uh, the formula that will allow us to grow up and to do the work that we're doing right now.